here, not a licensed physician at the time of recording this video, not giving medical advice, it's purely educational, informational, and for entertainment. And why is it that if you were to lose a bunch of weight, a bunch of body fat, not just weight, but body fat, that you would actually be detoxing your system? Well, to be more precise, you would be toxifying your system for a short amount of time, but overall detoxing it. That is because fat-soluble molecules end up in your fat. I was just watching a Joe Rogan short clip where he's talking about blueberry bear, this bear that eats so many blueberries that even its fat is bluish purple. That's because the pigments that are for the bluish purple color, I don't know exactly what color it is, I think it's like the only natural blue color. I heard that one time, I don't know if it's true. But the pigments, they're fat soluble, so when you consume them, they end up in your fat. And they don't really end up leaving very much until you burn that fat off. When you burn that fat, they then enter circulation throughout your body and some amount are excreted. Now, for that reason, if you had a lot of toxic garbage stuck in your fat, or technically it's stuck between, depends on what you call your fat, whether it's the molecules or whether it's the group of molecules all together. Point is, if you, you got like, Fat soluble molecule, you got fat molecule, fat molecule, fat molecule, all surrounded. But as you burn that fat, the fat goes away and the fat soluble molecule also leaves from that area, wherever it was. So if you had a lot of toxic stuff and it all hits your body at one time, you could feel a bit sick. But the good thing is, say you've been eating a garbage diet a lot of your life and you've built up a lot of these fat soluble toxins, just call them toxins because that's essentially what they are if they're unhealthy. You can get rid of them. You just lose like all your body fat. And then when you regain the body fat, make sure you're eating healthy stuff. And you will fill your fat with fat-soluble vitamins and other healthy molecules. Um, it's hilarious. I even asked a, uh, med I'll just leave it as a medical person. High esteem medical person. I just don't want to specify. Uh, about the vitamin content of human fat. And this man told me, there are no vitamins in human fat. It's like, oh, there aren't? Where do they go? They just enter the body and just piss them out or something? No. When you eat fat-soluble vitamins, they end up in your fat. I mean, it's ironic that people don't realize it, but they're called fat-soluble for a reason. They dissolve into your fat. Now, it's hard for people to imagine when they're thinking of a solid. Like, to dissolve, they think something's turning into, like, liquid, but no. To dissolve into something just means there's a whole bunch of something, and something enters into it. Um, but I don't need to get too technical, but technically it's like you got a bunch of molecules of something, and then they enter into something else, and they all split apart. The point being... Your fat is a storage medium for all the fat-soluble molecules in your diet. So if you're eating a garbage diet, you're going to fill your fat up with garbage. But you can get rid of it by just losing that weight. Just burn through that fat, and when you gain it again, make sure you... I don't know if you want to take multivitamins, or if you just want to eat a tons of like red meat and vegetables and fruits and just big variety. But you want your fat to be nutritious. And it's funny, it's like someone told me... Oh, it's not healthy to fast. You won't have enough vitamins. It's like, huh? Now, of course, you're not going to have the water-soluble vitamins, but when you are fasting and your body is burning through your body fat, you are liberating all the fat-soluble vitamins. You will not have a shortage of fat-soluble vitamins, but you will have a shortage of water-soluble ones. Probably the most crucial in the short term will be vitamin C. You could end up with scurvy if you were to just go on a massive month or two or three month long fast. But as long as you had that vitamin C, and who knows, you might need some other water soluble vitamins, but vitamin C has been shown to be the most crucial one in short term, low consumption situations. So yeah, you would have a ton of fat soluble vitamins because they're all coming out of your fat and entering circulation. So as long as you supplement with vitamin C, no, it's not that you're not gonna have enough vitamins because you're not eating. You just gotta get that vitamin C in. Yeah, pretty simple. I don't think there's much more to say. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Check out my other videos. 
Check out my Instagram, Andre Hutch, and as always, you can hire me for coaching, advice, consultations, plans, whatever. Same thing with diet, same thing with supplements, same thing with special supplements, same thing with harm reduction, whatever. Blood work, whatever.